Hi, hello everybody, and thank you for coming to another 10 minute travel. Um, I have Emma Waterways with me here, Shauna Carter, who is the Business Development Manager, and she's going to tell us all about Egypt. And I'm so excited to share this because this was one of my favorite itineraries. It's a wonderful place, isn't it, Shauna? Well, I haven't actually had the opportunity to go yet because I'm booked for April 2022. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Uh, I mean, we used to sail in Egypt 10 years ago, so we are so excited to be coming back to this incredible destination. Right, indeed. And, and this is a little map of sort of typically what you'd be looking at in Egypt. And as you can see, there's some add-ons that you can incorporate. Jordan, Israel, Dubai, um, but really the focus being Cairo, Giza, Luxor, Edfu, um, that amazing itinerary there. Mm -hmm. so and Petra, gosh, isn't that one of the bucket list places? Yes, and uh, you know, an incredible, you think about this civilization being abandoned so long ago and then found in, again, by an explorer in the 1800s, right? It's, right. And one, one piece of rock, right? It's just wow. Amazing. It's it's amazing. And you know, sadly, I didn't get to do this on my Egypt itinerary. So maybe in 2022, I'll be coming with you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so this is typically what your uh, itinerary looks like with having some time in Cairo at the Four Seasons, no less. Beautiful seven nights on the Amidali and we've got some photos of that coming up and then one night in Cairo on the return and this is the basic itinerary that you can add on to um, if you wish to do one of those other wonderful destinations. Mm -hmm. Cairo, it's, this is a buzzy city, my goodness me it just doesn't stop, it's exciting you know, Egypt has gone through a lot of political turmoil, and I was actually there back in 2012, which was just after the problems there. And even so, I always felt completely safe there. Um, never had any uh, feeling of threat when it's a beautiful destination. Well, you know, Cairo, as you say, is this incredible city, 22 million people with the Nile coming right through the center there. Um, old Cairo, a little farther off the river, but down along the river is this beautiful Four Seasons property. And so we chose this hotel so that, you know, our guests could have a chance to be touring through Cairo, but then come back at the end of the day and have this lovely, relaxing place to come to. <laughs> you know, it look good. A view of the Nile. And, and you can see exactly, um, it's a busy place, going to these markets, it's, it's so exciting. You can really do some good shopping there. Have to get your bargaining voice out though, because uh, if you don't barter, you're insulting the, the merchant. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you can also go to the oldest coffee house, 700 and some odd years old. So oh, long fantastic. Long. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. And of course, uh, Egypt, your first thought is the pyramids. And um, there we see this iconic view. You can get up on a camel. I didn't go for a ride on a camel. I just had a photo. I, I kind of wussed out as far as that was concerned. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. And the Sphinx. Oh, my goodness me. This was just the most amazing thing to see. Isn't that incredible? Oh, and to think again, you know, it's the head of the the king in the body of a lion and it's yes. one rock <laughs> that's yes. what it means me is that they carved it out of one huge oh rock. yeah beautiful really is now here's the ship isn't she beautiful the amadalia yes we're excited to introduce her into our fleet and uh, unfortunately all i have right now are these artist renderings but mm -hmm. at least it gives you a sense of the ship only 34 staterooms and beautiful. Uh, nice and spacious staterooms, windows, French balconies, twin balcony, those mm -hmm. signature staterooms and suites, of course. Right. Swimming pool, the chef's table, but beautiful. Guys, yeah, look at the lounge. Now, again, these are artist renderings, but I think you can get a sense of how we want the ship to feel on board as we're traveling in this world's largest outdoor museum as we sail out of Luxor yes. and 
see all the tombs and temples on either side um, of, of the, the river, of course. And the restaurant to be mostly European cuisine. We'll be bringing our food in from Europe and then right. off specialties of the area. The sun deck up top again with this beautiful yeah. some shaded areas. So very nice and comfortable and different different types of accommodation. Yeah. And yeah. So you can just see by this quick itinerary here. You know, we fly from Cairo down to Luxor to get on the ship where she is docked and then we'll start our sailing schedule. Um, and it's round trip Luxor, but as we go along, we'll be visiting all these incredible temple sites. And, um, you know, it's just so unique that we get to have these experiences all from the comfort of this beautiful ship. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, I could totally do this itinerary again. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you have uh, some options here as well. Well, this is the only tour that we created. Everything else is included, of course. Um, and the unique thing about our program is that you have three Egyptologists traveling with you the whole time we're doing our Cairo uh, portion and our cruise. And, you know, they're experts in the field of everything Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, this this one day um, in particular, we have the opportunity to fly down to Abu Simbel. And what makes this incredible site so unique, aside from its history, you know, it was built for King Ramses II and his wife, Queen Nefertari. And so it's pretty much a tribute to them, shall we say. But it was down along the water on the Nile and they dammed the, that area not long ago and were creating Lake Nassar and wanting to have hydroelectric power, right? So they actually, it would have flooded this site. So they actually moved it like 200 feet higher and 600 feet Southeast, the entire structure. My so goodness. So that it could be preserved for people to see. So we fly down there, we tour through there for two hours and we fly back. It's an early morning start, um, but we ask that you book it in advance so we can make sure we secure the flights and the tour. It's about $450 Canadian per person. Mm -hmm. And um, so once you get on the ship, should you decide to do it, if we can even get you space, it'll cost more money. So oh. just make, I don't think it's something you ever want to miss. You've gone no. all this way. And uh, so we just ask that you pre-book that. So that's the only tour out of everything that's an optional cost. Uh, optional extra, fantastic. And another little view of inside Abu Simbel. Um, Old Cairo, again, you had mentioned it earlier, Shauna. Beautiful, mystical, amazing place. So I hope that this has given you all some idea of what you can do in Egypt and how you can do it in style, comfort and safety with AMA Waterways. We'll be having some more talks about AMA's new ship and Europe itineraries. But in the meantime, thank you, Shauna, for today and we'll be in touch. Thank you. Stay well. Hi everyone, my name is Pete and I'm lucky enough to be one of the cruise managers at Armour Waterways. Now, if you're someone who enjoys new itineraries and if you're someone who likes new destinations and cruising on brand new river cruise ships, then September 2021 is going to be great for you because this is when Armour Waterways debuts the Armadalia onto the Nile River in Egypt. Now, remember, the Nile has over 4,000 miles and Egypt has 5,000 years of history. So if you're someone like me, likes to do a bit of research before you go and visit a place, this doesn't leave us very much time, does it? I would recommend to you a series of books by a gentleman called Christian Jacques, French Egyptologist. Wonderful books about one of the pharaohs, Ramses II. And having read this, you get right in the mood for Egypt. Now I'm ready for pyramids and temples and Tutankhamun and Cleopatra and Mark Anthony and even Agatha Christie and Hercule Poirot and Death on the Nile and also fantastic Egyptian food and wonderful Egyptian hospitality. September 2021, can't come quick enough.